are in the Roadshow Kitchen Chef. Dan Delancey is here. Now, brace yourself because there's, I got to read these because there's, there's a list of restaurants that he oversees. He is one of the Cape's best chefs. Quarterback Restaurant, uh, Bucatino Restaurant, and Wine and Bar, and the Pilot House Restaurant and Lounge. Is yes, that sir. your full resume, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you. A few things going on, yeah. Just a couple. When do you have time to rest? <laughs> In the off season. In the off season. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're so happy you're here today, and thanks for taking the Pleasure. time and, and making yep. the time to uh, come in. So so tell us what you're going to make today, because I know this is one of the uh, favorites. And is it at um, one particular restaurant? Or do you, uh, do you we typically like do this stuff like uh, Bucatino. That's our Italian restaurant. We're trying to bring everything up a little bit more, uh, a couple steps on the, on the quality and stuff that we're doing every day. Right. So making fresh pastas, stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so let's go over some of the ingredients that we need to cut to put this together. Sure thing. So today we're highlighting lobster. So we have some uh, poached Maine lobster. We got some uh, summer corn. It's coming in season. Fresh asparagus. Uh, I made some angolotti's with some summer corn ricotta. Uh, so it's a little summer corn, uh, corn angolotti. And man, th th those alone look delicious. <laughs> yeah, little pillows of heaven. <laughs> they really yeah. do. So you boil all this stuff, kind of put, the, put yep, it all together. Exactly, yep. And then it comes into, is that like what it's going to look yep, like in the Yep, that's the presentation of it right there, yep. So yep. Um, so these restaurants, are they all kind of uh, different kind of types of food at all of these Very places? different. You know, so the Quarter Deck restaurant, that's like our tavern, New England style tavern. Um, really fun, um, great cocktails, draft beers, uh, you know, steaks. Right. Burgers, prime rib. Sure. Yep. And then uh, Bucatino's our Italian wine bar. Right. Um, so, we, you know, chicken parm, stuff like that, elevated dishes, as you can see. And then the pilot house is on the water. Um, that's the party scene. It's that's fun. the party yeah, scene. Nothing yeah, wrong with big, that. big restaurant on the water. And the good thing is, you said the Cape has been completely packed, busy. Uh, which is great for business. Extremely busy, yes. Yeah, that's, yep, that's, for that's sure. good stuff. Yep, yep. That's good. All right, well, thanks for coming in today. We will talk more about the, the restaurants, put these dishes together in just a little bit. Back to you. We are back in the kitchen this morning with Chef Dan, and I'm going to go through the list of restaurants again that he oversees. So it's Quarter Deck Restaurant in Falmouth Village, yes. Pucatina Restaurant Wine Bar in North Falmouth, yep. and then the Pilot House Restaurant and Lounge in Sandwich. Sandwich Marina, yes. I love yep. that. Yeah, it's I fun. I love talking to you because we're talking about recipes, how you create things, but today we're making summer corn and ricotta. Agnolati, yes. with lobster yep. and asparagus. All the ingredients are right here. And you know, like the main ingredient for this one is, would you say would be the lobster? Would be the lobster and the angolotti. You know, it's kind of like hit summer a little bit. You know, summer corn's in season right now. So um, give that nice snap. The lobster's neutral flavored, so it just kind of layers those flavors of summer. Right, absolutely. Yep. So yep. what what step are we at now in creating this dish? So right now we're just gonna uh, poach the angolotti's off in the water. So just seasoned water, salt, heavy salt in the water always. Um, and so inside of those, are the, you have the, the obviously the ricotta? Ricotta, I use, uh, I take the corn off the cob and grade the corn as well, so it's oh, really big so corn good. flavor in it. I like using the raw in the summertime, the corn, just because it has that nice little snap. Oh yeah, and definitely. Bite to the corn, yep. It's like the perfect time of exactly, year to really yep. take advantage of the corn. Yep, so we just put those in there, let them simmer for a few minutes. So those don't take a long time at Not all. Not at huh? all. Just a couple minutes. This dish is very quick, uh, put together pretty quickly. Because it is a really great summer dish. Yes. It's not, it doesn't, it's not heavy. Nope, it's not. It's very light, um, great to share. You can do it as like a kind of a shared plate on the table or individual in the backyard. It's fun. And now you said this dish is available at? Uh, this like would be like a special. Uh, so I just kind of like highlighted what we do, what we can do with the Pucatino. That's our Italian wine bar. Um, so. Um, making the pastas in-house um, as best we can. Um, um, just having fun with stuff. Having fun with stuff, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so this all comes together, all these flavors. Yes. And now, so when you're bringing, when you're creating dishes, we were talking about this before we came on camera, you know, so really you start with an ingredient, but then you work on the flavors and, the, and what will work yeah. together, yep. texture, all those kind of things come into play. Yeah, typically you always want to do something like a fat and acid kind of elevate the dishes, you know, so I use like a little bit of tomato in there for the acidity. Um, I get the sweet corn, we get the sweet lobster, um, and, and the angolotti's is really confident in general. And you just put in my favorite, a little bit of butter. A little butter. Butter, butter makes, makes everything, everything better. better. Yeah, absolutely. Like yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks so good mixing yeah. everything up. <laughs> absolutely. And that would probably be almost done too. Those yes. posts, yep. that, that I always, it's funny, when I'm ever making like pasta at home, I did hear once you throw it at a wall and it sticks, yeah. it's done. We're not gonna do that here <laughs> no. at all with this. No. But this, you know, this pasta dish too, I love about bringing this together is if you're a lobster lover, this is such a go-to. Yeah. But what other dishes do, do you create too at the different restaurants that are um, really just great go-tos in the summer? 
Let me see. We have like, um, you know, so like. We're doing like a nice uh, grilled octopus right now with a oh, mandarin delicious. orange and fennel salad with olive oil and a blood orange vinaigrette um, at Bucatino. We uh, eggplant rollatinis. Yep. Um, Those are must be very popular yeah. in the summertime. Veal chops. We got steaks, veal chops, tenderloins, um, you know, the traditional chicken parms, stuff like that. Um, and then the quarter deck is our tavern yes. restaurant. So, you know, prime rib on the weekends. Again, steaks, burgers. Um, and what you know, about the pilot? What could people expect? Pilot there? house is uh, very fun. You know, it's uh, on the water. So, you know, oysters, raw bar. Uh, we just built a big raw bar there. Um, it's on the canal. Big seat. It's like almost 500 seats. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, you know, that like every day we just throw a party there. It's fun. And you know? perfect time to go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly, summer, yeah. summertime yeah. in the cave is perfect but time still, to be there. So, you know, there. boiled lobsters, uh, baked stuff lobsters. We do um, all sorts of... A lot of seafood there. A lot Very, of seafood. Yep. Absolutely. Clean on the waters. Yep. We try to source everything as local as we can from Which all is of so our boats. Important. Yep. Stuff so out important. of New Bedford, uh, Boston, right from the fish piers. So, and we work with the freshest purveyors. We can buy our stuff from locally. Oh, that's incredible. Yep. Now, Dan's going to keep putting together the final dish. We have a, fi a final look in front over here. We cannot wait to jump into these. I told you when I came down this morning to say hello. <laughs> yeah. I could not wait to taste and to dive right into one Thank of these you. dishes. Yes. Make sure you check out tirocha.com. We're going to have where you can find all of the restaurants and meet more about Dan. Again, the recipe as well. So he's going to keep putting this together. Again, everything's going to be over at roadshow.com.